to show you very quickly how to create calendars um, in your Google Calendar settings. Um, if you are on your Gmail account, you'll see the little tic-tac-toe boxes that I like to call them. When you click on that, it'll take you right down here. You can click on Calendar, which would give you this page right here. You should automatically have a primary calendar. It's probably going to be named um, whatever the account's name is. But I can also go in here and click on Calendar Settings, and I can change that name real simply and easily by just um, typing in what I want it to be called and save it. Um, I can also create new calendars. So if I've got my work calendar, but maybe I want a personal calendar as well, so I click on the drop down under my calendars, I can create a new calendar, and I might call it personal calendar. Click on create. And so it will automatically save um, another calendar. This is a secondary calendar, and you'll notice that it has a different colors. And I can change those colors if I want by going to um, this so I can make it look like that if I want to um, and what the cat what the colors do is that gives you sort of a visual so you'll know which event happens under which calendar so the way this works is let's say that under my work calendar I wanted to go um, maybe I'm going to go to school number one and notice here I've got a drop down where I can click on my work calendar or my personal calendar and then I can create my event. When that happens you'll notice that this is green which goes with my green calendar so now I know that it's I'm in my work calendar but let's say that I'm going to a baseball game and that's a personal calendar event and then I want to change the event to um, show that this isn't an all-day occurrence, so I'm going to click on Edit Event, and let's say that my game is at 7 o'clock in the evening, and it's going to last till about 9.30, and click Save. So you'll see that it's turned blue, which goes with my personal calendar. Now, notice that this has more of a filler behind it, that's because this is set as an all-day event right here, but if I needed to change that, I could just click on all, the all-day button, and it gives me my time. So then I can just go in and say, I'm going to be at that school from 8 to 10.30, and click um, Save. And so then it changes the filler option. Um, I can also go in to my calendars, and I can share the calendars as well. I can share them with other people by just sending an email and I can give different permissions. I can also embed my calendar within my Google site or anything that will allow me to put in an HTML code. Um, so I can do that, which is a very nice feature. I can also go up here to reminders and notifications and it would send me those notifications of oh, you're going to have a meeting in 30 minutes or, or whatever you need to set for your notifications. So those are just kind of some simple ways to organize yourself. You do not have to share your calendars with anyone, but if you wanted to, you have that option of sharing. Um, you also don't have to worry about if you share this work calendar with someone, um, it will only be shared with those people and your personal calendar is off limits. It's only with how you want to um, share that. I know a lot of people who with their personal calendars will share it with their husbands so that they can see what's on the calendar. Um, that would be a great way to kind of um, organize yourself especially if you're running kids around town and um, then of course with your work calendar, you know, you might even share, um, create a new calendar for students um, that would allow them to see some of your um, schedule, but not all of it. 
so maybe you wouldn't want them to see everything that you're doing um, but you would want them to have access to whether or not maybe you're busy if you'll go in here into calendar settings um, and share the calendar you can you can show where I'm free or busy you can hide those details or show that so that might be an option as well hope this helps you get started with Google Calendar um, and helps organize yourself and become more efficient in your work with students kids and well that's the same thing students parents and colleagues hope you enjoyed this edition of teacher training bootcamp see you next time